Hello and welcome viewers, you are watching Business World, I am Bhupendra Pantola. I have with me Dr. Sakti Chauhan. Mr. Chauhan, welcome to Business World. Thank you so much Bhupendra, it's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And uh, tell our viewers the key takeaways from the panel uh, that you just attended. Well, first of all, uh, my heartiest congratulations to the BSW World about bringing the whole fraternity together on this platform and talk, especially talk about security for two days. I think, uh, you know, security off late have not been a field which has been in limelight in terms of knowledge sharing and you know uh, putting rewards and recognizing the effort so thank you so much for bringing this uh, together first of all and the second part i think the takeaway has been um, uh, it's it's very very important in terms of understanding where we are moving to when the change are happening around us i think uh, covid has been a you know a, a eye opener for all of us in every field and security has been one field that where we understood that you know it is non-negotiable from every aspect every human aspect every you know uh, me mechanical digitized anything we talk about in terms of the safety business growth uh, hygiene I think this part is very very eminently available and is acceptable uh, when it comes to takeaway from the session here I think uh, everyone uh, you had a some great panel in fact first of all congratulations for that as well um, everyone who has come from over 20 25 years of experience have spoken about first thing let's say the compliance part security is just not about the responsibility of a security agency but it is the whole of management security is just not about paying the minimum wages but also about making sure that people who are getting that paid are happy to even work so it's not about better best place to work but it is about safest place to work security is such a sometimes becomes such a mundane job where you know the emotional safety is not even uh, checked mm. people are, you know it's a bit boring sometimes and you are not doing anything and standing and you know uh, managing a post which could be at a gate or you know at any other place where there is no creativity is, is managed so it's, it's more about even helping them to stay creative it is about helping them staying happy mentally happy so these are other aspects when it comes to uh, you know the human factor irrespective of the technological upgrade happens across the world I think the human factor will always remain unique critical uh, it cannot be replaced by any technology irrespective of the growth we will have so, so human factor is going to be intact right? absolutely that will always be intact and I, I believe uh, you know that becomes a bit more rare now it will be more respected it will be more unique and we need to respect that part in in terms of whatever growth we are heading to. Uh, but, uh, which are the, I mean, which are the key things that you think is irreplaceable? No matter what the technological invention is, uh, innovation is, but something which will be intact. If you can just, oh, I said, it. I said the human element. Yes. Uh, you know, all the system has been designed by humans. But I think, you know, the kind of creativity we have when it's a crowd management, you can feed a system in terms of behaving in a specific way. But it's more about sometimes being compassion as part of your decision making. Uh, creativity part of your decision making you know um, when it comes to you know humanity as part of your decision making you you know uh, think in a more comprehensive way before taking a decision then you've been fed in a specific way about deciding so I think these are some factors which will never be out of uh, uh, you know, scope out of fashion uh, then it comes to uh, any any technological upgrade I think the one part will always be you know important Important will be compliance you know I think that is where we everyone have to be very very importantly aligning everything so you know few factors on the humanity compassion compliances I think uh, all that creativity these things will always remain as, as a top priority respective of growth we have okay. so the ultimate decision making will fall on the human aspects and the human uh, you know the humanness yeah, industry. it is it is with us as what we want to de uh, design and how it should work. Okay. It is about using the system, not about using the human. Okay. So, uh, if we consider the uh, on-ground security, security, private security professionals or workforce, uh, I'd like to ask you, uh, what are the you know the skill requirement in them, and what are the 
uh, you know the problems or the challenges that they at times face which needs to be taken care of according to you see it's not a ready made answer rupendra skill is very very subjective it is it depends about what kind of industry you are serving to if you are serving to as a retail industry your skill set has to be different if you are serving in a hospitality industry your skill set has to be different if you are in a industry which is more about it and its your skill set has to be bit different so everything and the security part is that and the you know the effective security deployment and uh, process will be when you under send the requirement of your client and then change the requirement as per what are they really need it so uh, that's what is all about you need to drive some specific training programs uh, the different training tools you have to make sure that the person when is required to be taking action is in in that frame of mind to take that action so all those things are you know basically making sure that that's a that's a basic basic part of any to do or expectation for from any industry so it's subject based on the sector that you are catering to uh, if we mention the uh, it can't be one size fits all yes yes uh, from the policy angle if we mention uh, uh, in 2005 there was this uh, uh, personal security regulation which mandated that the licensing all the aspects came into place after that what all development have been there from the policy side any mandates that you think is important or is something which is going to come ahead, come ahead in the coming years see i'm, I'm not sure about where government is working but then there are certain basic compliances which government asked every agency to do pasara is one of them you know where you need to have some let's say 20 days training program minimal and the before even deploying any people minimum wages is about how people are paid different states have their different minimum wage standards and even revising minimum wages at a different interval is not same for for india across when you recently you know introduced the data protection act i think that's where you have a bigger role of security in terms of how they protect the data the penalties related to data protection has been huge now so all that keeps coming on over a period of time but apart from that i think you know by government this is this is bit more uh, uh, you know urgently required that they don't need to go every 6 months year or 5 year they should be very continuously talking to the service provider people who are in best in this industry in terms of taking inputs about what all needs to be put under as a normal compliance because where you know until as it is forced or it is committed or compulsory by the by the government people tend to take the advantage of uh, you know cutting the corners not uh, putting those things in a proper way the you know the spirits are not correct i think all that is is which basically makes us compromise the security for uh, fortunately Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Chauhan, for talking to us. It was a pleasure talking to you. Oh, it was always a pleasure, and thank you. It was great to be here.